Sometimes activity masquerades as forward motion when it's anything but. So repair yard or university. Our government seeks to borrow $30 billion and will have nothing really useful to show for it. The Saraki-led Senate refused permission for this frivolity, but the pliable current Senate, headed by Lawan, will no doubt pass this request through. Let's look at one of the plans our president has unfolded, the 18 billion Naira new University of Transportation. <laughs> what? Yes, that's what. To be located in the president's hometown of Sadamu in Daura, they say the institution will domesticate the railway engineering and transportation. They say it will produce people who will be able to look after our railways. In other words, mechanics, technicians, and other craftsmen. Is this not a technical college? Or perhaps even better, part of a repair and maintenance yard for our railways? Why did our government not reach out to the Department of Education in China for help, rather than ask a Chinese construction company to arrange a new university? Are we really this low? There are universities that could deal with transport education issues as a course within their existing departments, from urban planning to other engineering courses. It is not as though we actually make anything close to trains, motor vehicles, and the like. We lack food, water, power, roads, schools, farms, and we spend this sort of money on some white elephant project. The railway compound in Lagos is currently neglected, as are many other rail stations and locations that could house this repair yard. When you lie to yourself, you get the wrong result. The Minister of Transport, Chibuike Amechi, would have done better to name it Railway Training Institute. With that, the true aims would be obvious, and the results would therefore be more accurate. Amechi is a university graduate and should know better what constitutes a university. The president may not and needs to be guided. So why Daura? It appears totally out of the way. All that the institution could use will have to be logged all the way from the ports to Daura. Surely there's other things we could cite in Daura. What are the other things, things the president? we could cite in Daura? <laughs> I'm interested um, to know what to know what else? cites in Daura. <laughs> well, uh, Millet Training Institute. Uh, but to be serious, there are other things. No, what I mean is there are other things. You know, mm -hmm. Even if I don't have to come up with anything, I'm sure um, we, can we can spread things around the country. Mm -hmm. There's so much we can do in this country. Well, so I, I just see this as another, you know, another government, or would I say another president trying to leave something. Yeah, yeah, but we all know that it has no substance and it probably won't even survive after the first year or whatever. Precisely. Now, I mean, let's look at the Marine College that... Mm. What has happened with that? Yeah. Nobody's talking about it. From the last pictures I saw, the thing looked like it was falling apart. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think they have even started accepting students or anything or, i mean i'm just i'm looking around because i haven't heard any all. real information about this marine Who, college it again it was done under the under buhari, buhari regime, um yes. you know it was one of the first things that marine, happened under marine Kachiku university. in delta oh, Abi? the marine university mm, yes, the marine yes. university and they called it a it university is, mm. they like to bander that you know because it's all about prestige to make mm. it look like more than what it is mm. so no i agree with you it's just another empty gesture you know just to appear like they've done something but they've actually done nothing you wow. know it should have just been called what it is two things for me stand out clearly here um first one is the misnaming right mm. um because when you read everything about this <laughs> yeah, it turns repair. out to be a repair <laughs> yard or institute <laughs> Um, I do agree, though, that we need more, if, if, if anything, mm -hmm. we need more craftsmen than engineers in Nigeria. Yeah, sure. yeah. And I think the emphasis should be on how do we get solid, qualified people who can produce things with their hands. Correct. Um, because ultimately, every economy needs that. And in, in this particular industry of transportation, mm -hmm. you need people who can make things with yes. their hands. Yeah. You talked about the railway yard in Lagos that's just dead. Yes. Um, I think that... That should have been even the, 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 the start of mm. the talk about how do you build a yes. railway or mm -hmm. a yes. university of transportation should be. How do you incorporate that into the, yes. into the... But the other thing, too, is why do we have, as Amechi himself, the minister, said, mm. that he, he almost forced or blackmailed you know, the Chinese, Chinese construction company yes. to, to, to pay for a university. Yes. Why will the Chinese construction company pay for... A, our own university. Please enlighten um, me. I'm even, I'm yeah, I mean, he said well, it. Let me come in on that. Let me come in on that. Because yeah, I, yes. I felt that he was, and that's the understanding I have, mm -hmm. he was trying to say that he managed to negotiate certain terms 
under the agreement to do the railway. And one of them was that they would allow us to set up a spare parts factory in uh, Kolo, uh -huh, which has been set up. They will allow some of our people, I think about 60 of them have gone to, to China abroad. to be yeah. trained. Yeah. And then they will also set up this university. So he's trying to show you that he's an astute businessman. Yeah, right. That as a package deal, he's not just, no, we're not just lending from them. No, really They're investing in no, Nigeria. I don't, I don't so really that makes sense to me. Let me just any... quickly say the direct thing. Yeah. I think, you know, since we've admitted that all the other presidents do this, you know, because we're still in that zoning mentality, mm -hmm. let's leave this one. He's not the first, he's not the last, no. unless we have some sort no, of the zoning. Mm. So, so that's why I'm it's about, That's I'm, why it's indirect. No, no, it's no, placating no, no. that no. desire. Is it, is it, no, no, it's worried point, about two points. The money that is borrowed that will actually amount to, to nothing, nothing here. In, yeah. And that secondly, is it is Daura the right place yeah, for this exactly. university? It's a gesture. Yeah, no, okay, no, I see what you're saying. No, 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 because I don't think they're just misnaming it. Mm. They don't no, really they, know no, no, what no, they're, they're doing. They know why they're doing that. It's to okay, add prestige yeah. to it. I, I, like think, I, said, I, to think, I think this the money um, spent. establishing or this railway, it's, mm. it's, it's, the impact is going to be massive. Okay. Right? And he wants, um, in a way, is this um, uh, kind of mentality here to give the master, let the master you know, get the reward from this laudable mm. project. So we're going to cite the uh, institute or university or whatever nomenclature we decide hometown. to give it in his hometown. Does it make sense? That's a different thing, <laughs> you know. But I think we should learn from the experiences in the past. We've had NNPC and all our whole oil, the crude, particularly the upstream sector, mm -hmm. being managed by expatriates after almost 60 years. You know, now we're saying, look, for our railway, we need to have homegrown technology. If you're going to do this thing here, you need to train our own local content so that eventually we'll be building the carriages here locally. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 that was, that's, that was and I think I that's found. the intention. Yeah. It's the same thing we should really? apply for roads. We don't told. want Julius Bega to continuously build is, roads in Nigeria. Do, not, let's have engineers. Do, 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 so if we have an institute. That they that, have any intention of actually teaching us how to build these railways. Okay. I really don't. But it, what, what would the institute Chuka, about? Chuka read on now. The, it was all so, about so, maintenance and... It's, it's not just... It's not the whole... The, it's, it's... Why do they call it a university? Oh, because uh -huh. they call everything a university. <laughs> no, because in the whole lot is supposed to <laughs> go on there. There'll be transfer of technology. So giving There'll be the benefits transfer. of the doubt. I'm just giving... Yeah, that, we should... Exactly we must start... We must start from somewhere. We can't... But that Marine College is a red flag. Yes. Well, it is. And we're hoping... And that Marine College was done to appease I think it was the Niger Deltans during that time when there was a lot of uproar. We need to be so more, they quickly we need to be more commissioned a uh, marine university gestures. that nobody has attended. And yeah. it's now to, be fair, to be fair, many years ago when Alame Sega was the governor, um, under Education Tax Fund, we did a, a plan, a consortium, we did a plan for Niger Delta University and they were going to receive a very large sum to set up that university. And the idea was that it shouldn't be a full-blown university in the beginning because that would mean so many departments and very little going on. So the essence was going to be like there will be courses on things that have to do with the petroleum and marine industries. So you would have things like there would be a department of law for a start because you know law is very uh, high and, and then engineering, right. marine engineering. So build that. Gra so open that, up gradually. So, so the university was going to be known a lot for that mm. at first before it and might even end up being like that so forever. How's that project going? Uh, Alamesiga scattered it um, <laughs> when he was still the governor. But, but and, he is uh, in Nigeria, anyway. No, and then when he scattered it, because, uh, you know, obviously, he couldn't, get, my, couldn't my, get his my, hands on it. My main issue with this is not whether it's in it. Daura or... He set it up sorry. as a group of, as a sort of Jack on Day type buildings in the end. I don't have My main issue is that let's agree on something. That's my problem with it. We don't have any problem that is with, Dara, with, really. with, with, with the presidential discretion of where you cite mm. absolutely not yeah. that, that's that's a yeah. that's a discretion yeah. that the president enjoys and that's yeah. okay other presidents have done it you know yes. he's no other presidents will come and do it as well mm -hmm. i think the, for me the issue goes back to um the our, our law for titles this is a university mm. yeah. and what the object and uh, we've seen in the past you yeah. have the marine one we have this mm. we have that they have not actually delivered on that that's mm -hmm. the problem so i think we should we the focus should be more on to achieve for me the mm. craftspeople that mm. will run the railway yeah. 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 and it's, it's interesting that's, why that's the, best the 
uh, Sarah Key and Co. did Refuse not the debt, allow the loan. it to go through. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I think that's something we really, I want to even find out yeah, more no, about. Because apparently I'm not they had allowed it. They estimated, they, no, Shea Hussani said so that simple. they had allowed not, the loan. No, but they're By boring. Be it's all boring slaves. of loans now. No, they, they we will eventually be mm. dead slaves. Yes, no, that's true. At least they held back the tides. Okay, yeah. All right, fine. We're moving there. We keep moving, as they say. We move. That thing of we move. So we need to make a habit of interrogating information as often as possible. Emeka is all for interrogating an existing state of affairs after the break. <laughs>